Hey guys, it's Haley. So we're playing Valheim today and I'm just out exploring a little bit. So I came across here, as you can see up on our mini map, we're not too far from our house. Uh, so I just came in this direction and I found something that I kind of wish I didn't find. <laughs> uh, yeah, right down there. That, that right there, that's a troll cave. <laughs> um, it's a bit scary that there's one of these so close to where our house is. Uh, so I'm going to turn around and I'm not going to go over there. I went to inspect it because I thought it was a troll cave. And I went in and I was immediately just un very unhappy. And there's so many of these guys around as well. I've died twice. So it's not, not a fun time so far with death. Everything else is fine. Just, just the death. Not, not fun. I'm going to continue exploring and see what else I can find other than these guys. <laughs> and if anything interesting happens, I will let you know. Not much farther from our house uh, than the troll cave. In the opposite direction, though, there's this ocean. There's a landmass or something over there. There's no way we could go over and explore that just yet. But sometime in the future, we will have to go over there and see what's up. So I guess when we were fighting all those gray dwarves, we got a gray dwarf trophy? The mossy severed head of a gray dwarf. <laughs> I have no idea what that's for, but I'm going to go ahead and just stick it in a chest <laughs> for now. Okay, so I just have a lot of things coming at me. This is uh, a, little, a little bit scary. I accidentally placed a wall. <laughs> uh... But, it says Eichther rallies the creatures of the forest and all this crap is just coming at me at the moment. Ooh, jeez. Okay, the creatures are calming down. That's good. Oh, and then Hugin, let's see what he has to say. Hello? You've been invaded. Monsters will lay siege to your camp from time to time. Strength of arms does not guarantee you victory in these situations. Build a strong defense to weather out the storm. Working on it, sir. Working on it. Thank you. Alright. That was just a tad bit terrifying. But on with the wall. Okay, we're just gonna see if sleeping helps with the storm. Okay, once again, you run at the head of your warriors, the weight of your father's axe in your hand. You wake with a war cry on your lips. Alright. Okay, so I have found where one of the bosses is. This is the first one. Okay. Calling forth the beast. You have found the summoning place of one of the forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary though, the forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Yeah, we are not ready for that. <laughs> but hey, we found it, so that's good. I also found another one of these rune looking things like this there's one over here but i was being chased by like five of those gray dwarf things <laughs> so i was just trying to run i need to see if i can get back to it hopefully they're gone there was a couple of these structures as well i don't think when i ran past this one i saw anything inside but i'll check it out real quick oh there's another one over there yeah let's see is there anything in here no Okay, let's check this one. Nope, nothing. Yeah, they're still lingering right over there, so we're gonna just steer clear of them for a little bit. But there's a structure here, and then this one here, I believe, has a chest in it. And then there's a snowy biome-looking thing there. Yeah, there's a chest in here. What's in here? Ooh, there's some coins. That's cool. I'll take those. Some arrows. I don't want them there, though. And what is this? Oh, amber. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Love that. Oh, my gravy, I can't get away. I don't want to go too far into this, though, because I don't want to risk getting cold and dying for the millionth time. Let's see if we can get over here into this structure. Of course, there's all of you around here. Please, go away. Run. This is stressful. This is very stressful. Run. This is okay. Now we must... Really? R really? We got this. Let's go. What's good is it's not too far from where our house is. If we were really far away, I'd, I'd probably cry a little bit. 
We're also gonna have to make another tunic or something because this is not a good look. All right, it's right over there. I think we're gonna have to leave that for another time. We're gonna have to go down and fix all of our stuff, regroup a little bit, because my good. Okay, guys, we got our walls up. So hopefully we won't have any more things attacking us in here. Crossing my fingers. <laughs> also, I found some carrot seeds. So that's cool. We can plant some carrots. I actually have no idea how to do that. I tried and it didn't work. So <laughs> I got to figure out how to do that. I also fixed our tunic and I uh, look absolutely terrifying. I'm thinking, now that we're back up to where we should be, I want to go and see if I can check out that structure that I found up that way. So I'm gonna head over there and we shall see what we find. We found something all right. Oh my gravy goodness. Okay, let me run please. Let me run please. <laughs> my goodness sake. Okay, there's another structure over here. I'm not sure what it is. Ah, I see. Okay, there's a skeleton in there. We're not gonna go over there. We need to just cool off for a second. I still haven't found that rune type thing that I saw. I can't remember where it was. Okay, let's see what Hugin has to say. Treasures lie below. Delves and dungeons can be found across the 10th world. They are monuments of the past and the most often filled with the riches of civilizations long lost. Remember to bring a light source. I'm not sure we're quite ready to go in there just yet. We need to get some kind of armor first. Oh, that's the rune. Rooney room thing. <laughs> let's see if we can read it. Yeah, runestone. Give thanks to Frey for the rain and sun, for the shoots that break the earth's skin and the fruits of the vine. Give thanks to Odin for the flesh and bone, the smoke from the cooking fire, the worm pelt, and the strength of your arm. Cool, thanks. I feel like we'd get way too cold coming in here. Oh, okay, hello. Mountain. Yeah, yeah, you are freezing. Let's let's get the heck do out of here. All right, I'm just gonna go back home. Something I would just like to point out is that I have 38 gray dwarf eyes. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is start getting stuff ready. Some armor, maybe. I want to get stuff set up so that we can do the first boss fight in the next episode. So, fingers crossed, I'm able to, I'm able to do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be it for this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Get out of my swamp!